All right, let's wrap up with a few definitions here. Another way to protect the contents of your data or the contents of your information system is physical isolation. Creating a security perimeter or a demilitarized zone, often called a DMZ, is a great way to separate different pieces of data or different domains that you wish to separate physically, and then you can use access control to decide who can get into each particular type of system. Very common mechanism is to put a web server on a DMZ. The web server is accessible by the general public so that they can get in and make requests, perhaps for a web application that runs back on the corporate network. There should be some sort of barrier and an authentication mechanism that sits between the DMZ and the corporate network. So at that point, you can decide who to let in or who to deny. Another definition that's important to understand is the reference monitor. Within one system, the reference monitor is the layer of software, the control layer, that stands between subjects and objects to enforce access rules. Part of the reference monitor is the authentication process. But that's not all of it. Once a subject has been authenticated, then all of the requests for access to all the objects on the other end have to go through the reference monitor. The security kernel is the collection of components that do work together to provide the reference monitor functions. So the security kernel effectively implements the reference monitor. Now you can see by the term security kernel, this implies that it is running in privileged or kernel mode, and that indeed is the case. It has a higher level of privilege. It can run at a higher security level so that it can enforce all the security rules that are necessary. When you pull all these pieces together, you end up with what we call the Trusted Computing Base, TCB. It is a collection of all the hardware, software, and controls that work together to enforce the security policy so that you know when you're working within the TCB, you are working in a secure environment and it may not comprise the entire machine. You could actually have part of a machine defined as the trusted computing base, and there may be functionality or layers that exist outside the TCB. But again, the TCB is the collection of all the hardware, software, and controls that enforce our security policy.